Hi kids! Today we're just a few miles away from NASA's Kennedy Space Center near Cape Canaveral, Florida. Hi everybody, I'm Chris. Here at the AstroTech facility, NASA brings their satellites and their spacecrafts for final processing and checkup before they're launched into orbit. Kind of like how you might double check your homework before you turn it into your teacher. Now this work is done by NASA engineers and scientists inside what is called a clean room. No, no, no. Not that kind of clean room. Totally, totally different, but don't worry about it. A very good friend of mine is going to take you and I inside one of these NASA clean rooms. My friend just had one stipulation, and that was that I needed to wear my clean suit. Fortunately for us, I just picked mine up from the cleaners. Bam! Let's go check out some cool space stuff. Barbara Lambert is a multimedia photographer for NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. She's here working in Cape Canaveral for an upcoming launch and agreed to show us around. Hey, good morning, Chris. Hello, Barbara. Thanks for meeting us again. We really appreciate it, and we're very excited that you're going to show us a NASA clean room. And so mm -hmm. I even printed out my email that would make me remember to bring my clean suit that I picked up this morning from the cleaners. <laughs> I think you misunderstood. I said you have to wear a clean suit. Cleaner than this? I mean, it smells pretty good. <laughs> I tell you what, I'll take you down to the gowning room, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, well, that's great. I'll follow you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, this is the gowning room. This is where the NASA scientists and engineers come to get dressed before they go into the clean room. Okay, what's our first step? Well, the first thing you have to do, you know, your shoes are pretty dirty right now. So we need you to go over to the clean station here okay. and get your shoes clean. Okay, clean my shoes. Sounds good. Oh, this is really neat. I bet teachers would love to have something like this in their classroom to keep the floors clean. Okay, great, Barbara. I believe my shoes are clean, so what's the next step? Well, even though you use the shoe cleaner, yes. I still need you to step on the sticky mat just to get off all the extra dust and dirt. Okay, and you're right, it's very sticky. It's uh, kind of like a glue trap for, I guess, maybe uh, dirt and maybe gum on the bottom of my shoes. Okay, now we get to empty our pockets. Okay, what are we looking for? Take everything out. Everything out? Cell phones? No cell phones, nope. okay. Cell phones go in here, and I've got a few things. I travel uh, heavy. I have my MP3 player. No. No MP3 player, all right. I also have a marker. No. Pencil? No. Nope. Come on, a hairbrush? No. A hair clip? Absolutely not. My keys? No, they transmit. You can't take them in. How about the uh, lipstick? You know what? Let's not worry about that. Why do you have the lipstick? It's OK. It's another story. OK. Well, you know, the lipstick brings up a good point. You can't take lipstick, you can't take hairspray, and you can't take cologne, because they can damage the sensitive instruments inside on the spacecraft. Okay, well, that's a great tip. I appreciate that. Okay, let's move on. All right. Now, this is what I meant when I asked you to wear a clean suit. Okay, well, yeah, that's definitely different than the suit I have. Absolutely. The best thing to do is think about the clean room as being like an operating room. Everything inside has to be squeaky clean to protect the instruments. And just as doctors and nurses have to wear special garments when they go into an operating room to protect the patient, we have to wear special clean room suits so the fibers and the dirt and the hair and everything from your body don't get onto the instruments inside. Okay, great. All right, well, let's get dressed. All right, thanks. After we finish putting on our gloves and our mask. Okay, I've got my gloves right here. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you look like a bunny. A bunny? What do you yeah. mean? Like a is this a bunny suit? Is that why they call it a bunny suit? Yeah, that's why they call it a bunny suit. Is that, is that a special pet name? Funny pet? Get it? Rim shot. Very okay. funny. I've got my gloves on. So what's the next step? Okay, we take a shower. I just got dressed, Barbara. Are you serious? A shower? I have to take everything off and take another shower? It's not that kind of a shower. It's an air shower. An air shower? Yeah, my mom would have bought that. Yeah, mom, I'm clean. <laughs> I took an air shower. All right, are you ready? Sure, let's see okay. this. Okay, this is the infamous air shower, so how does this work? Whoa. Now you feel the air. <laughs> the air is being blown through the jet. There's a vacuum suction at the bottom. Okay. So it's blowing off any extra hair or dirt or debris that might be on your garment. So now you're squeaky clean. I'm squeaky clean so I can see the cool space stuff. Let's go. Absolutely. I couldn't help but feel important, kind of like I had the right stuff as I walked into the clean room, even though I was specifically told by Barbara several times, don't touch anything. Okay, Barbara, that was really interesting. It's cool to see how much work it takes just to get in to the facility you know, without even having to work on the spacecraft yet. Wow. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize how much work is involved to manage a spacecraft in a clean room. Well, sure. Uh, this is NASA, so we actually have a lot of work going on. Mm -hmm. So now that we're done, uh, we just take these off and 
throw them in the garbage? Oh, absolutely not. We recycle everything, and these gowns have to go to a special cleaning facility. Oh, well, I have the number for my cleaners. I'm sure I still have that business card on me. No. Does that work? No. I said special cleaning facility. Oh, special cleaning. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's get these off then. Okay. Well, thanks, Barbara. That was really great. I appreciate you taking the time to show us uh, how a clean suit and a clean room are used when uh, we deal with NASA spacecraft. Sure. No problem, Chris. Glad to help you. You know, it's part of NASA's mission to work with students and teachers to help improve education. Well, that's great because this is an educational show, so I'll make sure I remember that. Thank you for your time. I appreciate You're it You're welcome. Much. Call me anytime. I will. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. And thank you for joining us today. There are so many cool things to see at NASA and here at the Kennedy Space Center. I wonder where we should go next.